Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for waiting. Today we're at the new Azabudai Hills. So this just opened uh, this past Friday, I believe. So I already published a video on that. If you haven't seen it, I posted it. I made a pin to it in the comments or the uh, live chat. But uh, yeah, I figured it'd be cool to walk around together so you can like ask questions or if there's specific things that you want to look at, we can do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a very dark and gloomy day today. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys can enjoy still. But, uh, yeah, let's, um... Let's go walk around inside because it's pretty cold outside. Um, or actually, never mind. Let's go check out the uh, let's go check out the middle green area first, and then from there we can go and check out the inside. I feel like most of the things you're gonna want to see in this area are probably inside anyway, so that's good for me. I can keep warm. <laughs> but uh, yeah. What's up everybody? 7C. Yeah, it's pretty cold, especially compared to what it's been the past, I don't know, long summer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the coldest, but it's still colder than it was. So at least there's that. Um, let's see. So in this area, there's this brand new Mori JP Tower. I don't know if you can see it there. It's the one tower on the left hand side. And then the other ones are residential towers, I believe. And those ones are also new. Um, and there's another new one being built as well. So I think there's a lot of shops here that are still not open. But uh, yeah, a lot of them are. So we can go check them out. A lot of them are kind of like food or gift stores. There's some clothing stores in the mall. Um, but I think a lot of these luxury stores are still not open yet. But uh, also on Friday there was like some kind of performances, with a, which I believe some people said was some, from some French group. But interestingly they speak German and Russian I think. I think it's like kind of to confuse the audience. But uh, we'll see if there's any more performances today. Am I moving in? Oh yeah, totally. I wish I was moving in. It looks pretty awesome. I don't even understand how expensive it's going to be, but we can check later. We'll do the real estate report later. <laughs> okay. Let's not get run over here. Sounds like there is an event going on, so we can go watch the event for a little while before we head inside and check out the shops. I sound cold. Yeah, I am cold. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm not really like a cold weather person. So it's like cold in my bones, but it's not even really cold yet. <laughs> so. Anyway, I think once we get inside, then I'll I'll feel warmed up. So no worries, guys. Getting a penthouse suite. Oh yeah, that would be crazy. All right, let's go see what the performance is. I hear something going on. I'm not sure what it is though. Let's go check it out. Uh, this is the DJI Pocket. I actually have a filter on there and I forgot to turn it off, so sorry about that. 
Does the picture look a little weird to you? If it does, I can try to turn the filter off. Just let me know. Yeah, they got a lot of abstract art here, like this silver metal glob thing. All right, let's go watch the performance. They're like hanging off the side of the building and I'll try to adjust the filter while you guys watch. Is it over? Alright, I think I got the filters off. Okay, cool. Let's go wander around inside then. Let's go wander inside. Shoe fund, yeah, it's a... Uh, with all these winter illumination walking videos, my soles are wearing out, so... I will probably have a hole in them soon, so I need to buy new shoes. <laughs> so, I started the shoe fund. Alright, let's see. Yeah, like I was looking at me all crazy, like, what is that? Okay, let's see. You guys can choose. Should we go up to the shops first or should we go to the Sky Lounge first? I think we're going to do both of them, but you guys can choose which one we do first. Let's see. One for shopping, two for Sky Lounge. You guys let me know. And look at this crazy looking drone looking thing. What shoes? I'm probably thinking Solomon's again. I feel like they're doing pretty well durability-wise and comfort-wise for the walking videos on the channel. I was using Adidas Ultra Boost before, but they ran out too quickly. Okay, everyone wants Sky Lounge, so let's go do Sky Lounge first. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's crowded. Everyone's going inside at the same time.
ございます。はい、前の方に続いてゆっくりお過ぎください。Yeah, on Friday it wasn't as busy because I came on a Friday during lunchtime, but today is probably going to be pretty busy because it's a weekend. So we'll see. We'll see if there's a line to get into the Sky Lounge, but if there is, we can just wait. This is like the lobby to the JP Mori Tower. It's pretty crazy. I think they're even going to have some art museums in here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a line, but it should be okay. Yeah, originally I thought it would be on the top floor, but it's actually only on a middle floor. I don't know why. Oh, it's cloudy. Maybe you can't even see anything today. Yeah, it was nice and clear day when I came on Friday, but today is cloudy, so probably won't look as good. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. This is like the Sky Lounge area, but this whole center area is just empty. I wonder what they're planning on putting here in the future. Okay, let's go look out the window. Let's see. Oh, what is that building over there? Let's see.
think that was Shibuya off there in the distance. Let's go look at the other view. The other view is more impressive on the east facing side. Yeah, I fixed the broken part. <laughs> I snapped it off the other day. But uh, it was a cheap part, so I had extras. See, everyone's huddled around here because this is where the Tokyo Tower is. We'll wait for a spot. Sky tree. I don't know, maybe you can see Sky Tree from the other building or the other window. Let's see, there's the Rainbow Bridge out there. Alright, let's go up to the the upper floor. Maybe we can see Sky Tree from up there. It's like a nice like a uh, stadium seating thing. This is like a nice cafe. Seems pretty fancy. They've got like cinnamon rolls, croissants, coffee. It's like a little mini bar. But I think there's another window over here. See Sky Tree though. Yeah, there's a rainbow bridge over there in the distance. Can you see it? But yeah, no, no sky tree. I think it's blocked by the buildings. Hey, PHX guy, thank you so much. Can't have you walking around with holes in your shoes like a dang peasant. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you so much. Yes, I will put that money to good use for the shoes. Yeah, this cafe is pretty fancy. I wonder if in the future it's gonna like get crowded or something. Or like you can't come up here unless you have a reservation or something. But actually it's not as crowded as I expected it to be.
go on the roof. I don't think you can. This is all this is as far up as you can go. I think this is middle way, right? Does anyone know how tall this this building is? And they have this like route that you have to follow. <laughs> you can't just go back to the other place. I think Japan is getting so overcrowded they're like leveling up the clout the crowd control. There's like a flow for everything now. this hill house I think this is like an exclusive restaurant <laughs> it's not so bad there's like plates for 2,800 yen 2,400, 1,500. It's not so bad. <laughs> I was on the wrong side there. Ari says the upper floors are luxury residents. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not for the peasants like us. All right, now let's go check out the all the shops. There's like a lot of shops in here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's go up this way. I think this is the the main entrance in the front from the Roppongi side. So let's go look at that. House is a hundred and thirty five million dollars. Holy crap! What about just like the cheapest unit? Is there like a, a studio room for at like one million? <laughs> All right, let's go look outside for a second. This is the, the street side. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the street side when you're coming in from Roppongi, and the Russian embassy is here on the left hand side. 
we can see the, the building from the front. <laughs> Just roll over the shoe fund into the penthouse fund. Yeah, totally. We'll get there someday. <laughs> Alright, let's go look up at it from the ground. It's huge. Yeah, if you look down this street, this is uh, Ropongi at the end of the street here. And they have this massive sign, Azabudai Hills. Alright, let's go check out all the shops now. <laughs> Still recovering from the mop fun. Well, rest assured, the house is being mopped. It's being cleaned. <laughs> My floors are no longer greasy. Can I show the embassy? Oh, I was back there. There's just like a wall. You can't really see anything. If anything, there's just like a Russian flag. But yeah, it's not it's not really much. I think because they just like have the wall in the front, you can't really see the inside. Okay. Oh, yeah, and they have these art pieces here. Hey, Sarah, thanks for being a community member. Whoa, what is that out there? What are those big things out there? What the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. All right. They're hugging. All right, you guys choose. Do you guys want to go look at the light up floaty people outside or do you want to go look at the shops? One for floaty people and two for shops. I feel like it's a tie. Let's just go look at them real quick. We're not going to spend a lot of time since it's tied. We'll just go check them out for a second and then we'll come back. Actually, I'm going to change the focus mode on this thing because once we go inside the shops, you're probably going to want to see everything in focus. All right. Let's go check out the floaty men real quick. What is it? Wait, they got deflated. What happened to them? What? 
Yeah, I feel like all the shows they've been having for this are like pretty artsy. Alright, I don't really get it. Let's go. <laughs> it was cooler when they're lit up and hugging and everything, but now they're just kind of standing around. Weird. I wonder when they're gonna light up these illumination things on this, uh, on this big looking drone look like thing. I haven't seen any pictures of this actually lit up yet, so maybe they haven't started. Oh, there's plant people. Okay, let's go upstairs. Hey, four bunk, thank you so much. One, one twenty-two point five millionth of the funds. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, this is the second floor. What do they have here? Oh yeah, they have the cafe and a burger place, I think. Let's see, what kind of cafe is this? Pelican Cafe. I haven't really tried this before. It's just like coffee, I guess. Doesn't look very special, but <laughs> I smell burgers. This is a Shogun Burger. I think they have this in Shinjuku and like in a lot of places. It smells so good. And then this is the residential tower. So, I guess there's the luxury ones in this JP Tower, and then there's this Residences Tower right next to it. And then I think they're making one more, like uh, over there. It's still under construction. But yeah, there's a ton of residents they're making here. I hear music. Is there more people dancing again? Whoa, there's a man on a stick. What is he doing? He's flying.
men. Alright, that's enough of stick man. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. Oh yeah, let's check to see how much one of these units cost. We saw the penthouse, but I want to see what else they have. Let me pull it up on my phone here. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's not even listed. Maybe they're all sold out already. Huh. Interesting. Maybe they're already sold out. Or maybe they're not selling it? I'm not sure. Let me check. Azabu... Uh... Dai Hills uh, Condo For sale Oh here we go Mori Living Wow Let's see there's leasing pages Zabudai Hills. Oh yeah, you're right. On the Mori JP Tower, which is this one, on the very top, there are the luxury condos. And then this building behind me is the Residence A, and then the one being built is a Residence B. And then the one behind me is the Hotel Yuan. So this is actually going to be a hotel also. So you can actually stay here. Uh, for one night instead of having to rent out the whole thing, which is nice. Let's see. Hold. Oh, no, it's Janu. Wow, that was a total misreading. <laughs> Let's see. Janu Tokyo. Janu.com. Wow. Alright, hold on, guys. Let me find the. Uh, find the prices here oh, it's not open so they don't have prices yet that's sad Azabuda Hills Residence A. Leasing will begin spring of 2024. Let's check the availability, guys. Interesting. They don't even have prices listed yet. I guess it's just still too early. Maybe they just give the highlights to the news and media for like the highest price rooms, but I don't know. I couldn't find anything for actual prices yet. All right, let's go. Right. 
missing the lighting. Oh yeah, the drone thing lit up. But the lights underneath it didn't. There's like these illumination lights underneath. But those still haven't lit up yet. I don't know when they're supposed to. Hey, four bunk. Thanks for the three months, man. Anyway, let's go inside. We could check out some of the shops. So, what do we got here? Something really fancy called Kaban. I've never heard of that. Is that like where the market This is uh, Lululemon. Everyone knows what Lululemon is. Hey, Angry Yank, thanks for the 10 months, man. Tier 2, thank you so much. Yep, everyone knows Lululemon. There's this United Arrows. Seems fancy. Gentil de Mar. Gentil de Mar. Looks fancy. And there's this jewelry store, Mai San Hirotaka. <laughs> and there's the interestingly named nose shop it looks like cologne or perfume but it's just called a nose shop that's just kind of a weird name Got these little containers. Oh wow, it smells good. It smells fancy. No mini stop? No, probably not. The store. Yeah, I think everything in here in here is probably super luxury. Besides the Lululemon, I guess. <laughs> this is like a fancy suit store. Look at this guy. He looks so fancy. <laughs> it's like jewelry, scarves, expensive man clothes. Oh here, Uggs. That's not so expensive, right? Uggs. What is this? Theory. Do you guys know what theory is? Looks not so expensive. Someone said that guy looks like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> All right. Um. 
was. All right, let's go upstairs. Lay Uggs. <laughs> what is Lay Uggs? Oh, it's a fancy restaurant. Orby. Looks fancy. Fancy plant shop. You're losing me, it cuts in and out. Okay, I tried to lower the bandwidth, so maybe that'll fix it. Let me know if it keeps happening. This is the most fancy gardening shop I've ever seen. Does anyone need some 8,000 yen clippers? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. This also looks super fancy. Uh, I already have a video uploaded of this place uh, in 4K. I linked it in the the. Um, it's pinned to the comments or pinned to the live chat if you want to just see the 4K version of this. I think there's like a fancy bookstore in here. I forget which floor it's on. Maybe one more up. Ooh, fancy, fancy. I'm actually a little surprised that there's not more people here, but uh, maybe the place is just so big that everyone's just spread out. Or maybe they were all here yesterday. <clears throat> what is this place? The balcony. Looks fancy. That looks ultra fancy in there. <laughs> Alright, this is a lover's lounge. Damn, this is a fancy bar. Looks cool though. Like the bartenders are like sunken into the floor. That's pretty cool. It's like a step down for them. That's really cool. So they're like at eye level when you're sitting down. That's really nice.
These are all restaurants. It's kind of interesting. They're all kind of like closed off, so it's more private dining. But let's see, it's four o'clock right now, so we're kind of like in between meals. So there's like nobody in there really. <clears throat> What's this? Is that a shark fin? It must be Chinese food. Huh. This is a fancy bar. Oh, it's not so fancy. This is pretty normal. Carmen. Yeah, I think it's just all the staff preparing for the next rush for dinner tonight. Whoa, it's like a forest restaurant. Looks so cool. The Sawan Bistro. Oh, this is the bathroom. Everyone's just waiting for their friends or spouses. This is... Bogamari. Maybe Italian? The finest Italian seafood. Just like being in Tatarina. Right beside the rural port of a town fish market in Italy. Wow. Fancy. And I guess they're connected to the pizza restaurant next door. Looks nice. Yeah, they even have the stone oven in there. Soba Mai Yamato. Oh, this place has like a cool, like bonsai vibes. Looks cool in there. Well, except for the ceiling. I think they should fix the exposed ceiling. It's like not so cool for this kind of theme restaurant. <laughs> what is this? Like some kind of stained glass windows? Yeah, I feel like we're in a in weird in-between time, guys, because it's like right before the dinner rush, so I think they're all having their staff meetings before they open up. All right, let's go up to the next floor then. What is this? Three hours tea room. What does that mean? You can stay for three hours? Mm. Looks fancy.
Wait, is this the up escalator? Oh, it is. Fancy kitchen stuff. You have to stay for three hours. <laughs> it's like a required course. All right, here's the bookstore. Finally. Hmm. It's kind of weird. This store next door is kind of just like random things. Glasses, bags, these Christmas things. Can we go to the bookcase? Yes, we can go inside the bookcase. Though we can't really read anything. <laughs> Maybe we can find some mangas. Where's the mangas? <laughs> Maybe they have fancy mops. I doubt it. Let's see. Where's the manga section? Where's the mangas? Let's see, this is like a DIY travel magazines. Women's fashion magazines. Ooh, ramen guide. All right, hold on guys, I'm adjusting my bag. All right. Ooh, train magazines. Have any of you guys ridden on this before? This is the Sunrise Seto, that popular YouTube video where you can like sleep in the train. I still haven't done that yet. I really want to try. And this is... Just like a relaxation hall, I guess. What about this? Just a quiet place to sit. That's pretty cool. This is Kyoto Ito Ito. I guess it's like an exhibit about uh, fabric making. I'm not really sure. This is a fancy coffee bar. 
Oh, they do that like a gravity gravity brewer. I think it's really cool. We got like fancy cups. This Famima. Cool. It's Family Mart, but it's just called Famima. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, here's the children's books. I guess that means we're almost to the manga. Where is the mangas? Mangas. Mangas. <laughs> oh, here's the manga section. We found it. Fancy manga. Yeah, everything's all wrapped up so you can't read them like in other stores. So you're not gonna find kids just hanging out here and reading manga for free. That's why it's pretty empty in here, I guess. Ooh, Akira. Alright, let's go. We found the manga, but we can't do anything because everything's all wrapped up. We can't read anything. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the here's the foreigner hits. Chainsaw Man, Attack on Titan, Berserk. Sakamoto Days. I haven't seen this one. What is it? It's like... Isn't this the... Uh, isn't that the guy from Full Metal Alchemist? I thought there was another floor. Oh, yeah. We haven't gone to the other side. Let's go to this side. Oh yeah, this is the uh the coffee from uh, Kyoto. Let's go this way. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's an extended section of that uh, Kyoto Fabrics uh, museum, or I don't know, showcase. Dang, look at this line just for coffee. Insane. They also have a nice balcony. Let's go try and look out the balcony. Oh, I haven't been on here at night before.
Yeah, this is that residence tower A. I guess all the lights are on because they're just working on it. Whoa, look at the hotel rooms in there. I don't know if you guys can see on this. Hold on, let me try to zoom in. You can kind of see the inside of the hotel rooms on these corners. Must be pretty damn expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. No one wants to sit outside. I guess it's just too cold. Alright, should we go back in? Oh, there's also this other side balcony that I never got to explore last time. Let's go on this side. There was like, last time I was here, there was like a party here, so I couldn't come in here. Let's check it out. Someone's playing piano, but I can't really see anything. Whoa, look at this view. Hold on, let me put you guys on the stick. Actually, let me get a picture from over here. Take out my Pixel phone. This is a really nice night shot. Okay, let's go. Oh cool, you can uh, you can see Tokyo Tower in the reflection of that building over there. It's like right around the corner. Ah oh, damn, I want to see Tokyo Tower from up at the observatory area. Alright, we'll go back there afterwards. I'm gonna post that picture in the members discord real quick. Yeah, if you wanna check out the picture I just took, I put it in the, the members only discord. I don't know why I did that, I should just put it in the regular one. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just put it in the regular one. Uh, let's see. Alright, yeah, so if you want to see the full res picture I just took, you can check out our Discord. If someone could post the link. Okay. Yeah, this outside area is really nice. I don't know why nobody's chilling out here. If I had a coffee, I'd rather sit out here than sit in there. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, I think there's more down this way.
This is uh, a restaurant called Alchemy. Looks pretty good. It's like a salad restaurant, I guess. Oh, it's a vegetarian restaurant. Plant made. Maybe that's why it's not so popular. I don't think there's that many vegetarians in Japan. Fancy towels restaurant? Oh, the yacht store. Seems fancy. <laughs> and this is like a fancy gym here at the end. Despoted. Wow, what an epic name for a gym. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hey, Angry Yank, thanks for the gifted sub, man. Thank you. No donkey? No, there's no donkey. Oh, look at this fancy glasses store. How do I look? <laughs> oh, look at these things. These are super fancy. These are nice. Wow. Only 136,000 yen. Amazing. Square suits you. <laughs> you should buy one. Those are so expensive. They're like a thousand dollar or like nine hundred dollar glasses. I don't even need glasses. <laughs> that would be the worst part about it. I would just be buying it just to buy it. I don't. I don't wear glasses actually.
Yeah, I actually really like those, but they're just so damn expensive. Is that how much you guys usually pay for for glasses? Like nine hundred to a thousand dollars for glasses? I mean, it's like something that's always on your face, like for most of your life, right? So I guess that's a worthwhile investment. I don't know. I never wore. I never bought glasses before. Oh, look at these pens. That's a. 550,000 yen pen. That's like $4,000, $3,000 pen. What? No way. Dude, this place is out of control. Okay, so 900 and 800s are like pretty pricey, right? Someone said they got one, their Oakleys for 800. That's not bad, I guess. I think the first ones I saw were Ishimiyake, and the other ones were like S19 or something like that. I can't really, I don't, can't really tell what it was. I'm gonna go check out the, uh, what is the, the brand name of the store? I'm gonna look on their website. They're made of animal horns. No, they're not. They were just made of plastic. Um, let's see, I just want to get the name of this glasses store so I can look online at how crazy expensive these brands are later. Oh, I can't read what the name of the store is. It's in Japanese. <laughs> oh well, too bad. It's that exclusive. Once I need to get glasses, I'll start a glasses fund, but hopefully that's not for another 20 years. <laughs> Fingers crossed, hopefully I don't need them. Totemo tagai. Yeah, very expensive. Shoots poisonous darts. If for that price, it better do more than that. Okay, I want to go... Uh, let's see. I know we already went, but I really want to go back up to the the Sky Lounge thing because I want to get a uh, I want to get a picture of the um, of Tokyo Tower at nighttime. So let's go back to the Sky Lounge again, and uh, let's try to get that picture. I'll post it in the Discord once I get it. Alright, I think last time I took the elevator down, so let's, let's look for the elevator. Thank you. 
Oh, I didn't realize this was the basement. I thought this was the first floor. Interesting. All right, let's go back up to the Skylands. I really want to get that picture of the uh, of the uh, Tokyo Tower at night. Yeah, you got to go down before you can go up. That uh, you can't get up to the to that thirty third floor from this shopping mall. You got to go back across to this tower here. Someone said just get the frames with no lenses. I mean, I've done that before when I was younger, but uh, not for a thousand dollars, not for 700, maybe like, like $20, $30 max. Hey, Toku, thanks for the gifted, man. Thank you so much. Let's see the power of this pixel night shot. Let's see what kind of picture I can get. Oh wow, you can see it so up close. It looks way more epic when it's nighttime. See if we can get a good picture from over here.
Damn, it's pretty nice over there. All right, I'm gonna post some of these in the uh, in the Discord channel. Let's see. Yeah, I like it, but there's like a double coating on the glass, so you get some kind of reflection. I don't know why. I don't know if... I don't think it's the cap, my camera. But I'll probably have to remove it in post. Alright. Cool. Yeah, I posted it in the Discord for anybody who's curious. And then for the members, I'll post like some extra pictures real quick. There's like the whole rest of the mall to explore, so let's go do that. <laughs> I was blocking the view. You guys didn't see the view? Alright, let's go back. I was prioritizing the camera. The phone camera. I'll let you guys see it up close for yourselves. Yeah, I'm going to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 
Alright, let's go outside and then we can go down into the... There's still like two more shops areas so let's try to go get there before the, the shops close because some of them are not restaurants so I imagine they close around 6 or 7. It's already 5.30. see Odaiba from here but um, I guess the resolution of the stream is not high enough. Dang, my ears popped. <laughs> Become a window cleaner, a uh, dancing window cleaner so you can get a nice shot. That would be pretty epic. I don't know if I'd have the balls to go do that. It's pretty high up, even though it's uh, not the highest floor. Okay, let's go to the other side with more shops. We can take the long way that way and there's like a Starbucks, but I think I'm just going to skip that and just go straight to the courtyard. Maybe they have more performances right now. I feel like these performances are pretty like, uh, well, kind of like abstract art almost. looks nice at night. I haven't actually been here at night, I think. Let's go around this way. Oh hey, those puffy floaty men are back. Whoa. Can you imagine if you like time traveled from like the 1950s or the 1800s and you saw this? I would think like, wow, there's aliens here. This thing looks crazy. Oh, they're hugging. We're missing the hugging alien things. <laughs> yeah, I would I would totally think that these are the aliens. 
Oh, is it over? We always come at the end. It's like the shaman and the floaty marshmallow man. That's what I want to be for Halloween. Giant marshmallow alien. Ah, they're escaping. Okay, let's go down to the other shops then, since the ghost people are running away. <laughs> Alright, so now we're headed to like the other parts that are not the tower. There's like this whole other section of stores and restaurants down here. But I think a lot of them are still not open yet. I think they're not going to be open until spring next year. See you, 5 yen. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, I really like the ceilings in this place. Look at it. It looks crazy. Kind of reminds me of the ceilings in kind of like some fantasy movies, like an elven... Elven uh, tav... I don't know what it's called. Elven place. Palace. I don't know. But yeah, this uh, place on the right-hand side is the the market. I guess it's, this is the one that's not open till oh January next year. So not spring, but January. Yeah, Rivendale reminds me of Rivendale. <laughs> They have all these shops, like this is a cheesecake, crazy fancy cheesecake store. Doesn't even look like cheesecake to me.
It's like a Got all kinds of different teas in the bottles. I kind of want to go in and smell some. All right, you guys are going back on the chest mount. Lucky land. Mm. These are fancy looking. I don't think I've ever had. Awesome, man. Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good Shoot. seeing you. I'm yeah. gonna finish up here, but yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was watching. He's like, man, where's It was like one of my one of my friends from uh, from back home. He just like randomly came and found me. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's uh, that's what happens once COVID is over. <laughs> There's actually people that I know out in the in the wild again. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ch I just had a little offline chat with him real quick for a couple seconds. Sorry, guys, and <laughs> we're gonna meet up. Cake store. Fancy pies. Plaza C. So let's go downstairs, I guess. Intermittent. Yeah, I think it was just because I disconnected for a second. Sorry, guys. I was just saying that uh, I just saw someone from back home 
and they just like randomly found me and said hi. So I just like t cut the stream for a second just to have a so small like offline chat. But yeah, we're gonna meet up later this week. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh... Oh, here's the, um... I think this is where they're gonna have the Team Labs. It opens in February this year. It's like a cool way they painted the optical illusion. See fancy tea, fancy cakes, fancy everything. they have down here they've got pastries like a fancy pastry place and this is like a fancy tea place I think this is Japanese tea though compared to like the English tea at the other other tea shop. Yeah, it's like a Japanese, like a green tea and other kinds of Japanese roasted teas. Yeah, like some other fancy restaurants. Whoa, this looks really fancy. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's a fancy honey shop. Oh, this is probably way more expensive than the ones I got last time. different kinds of countries too like Italy Japan Spain France that's crazy mandarin orange honey what Actually, it's not as expensive as the other one that I got. I think the bottles that I got last time were just so big. What is this thing? Is this Bangkuhagen? Macaroons. Yeah, and this is like the second location for that coffee shop. The line's not as long as the one inside the JP Tower. So I'd probably recommend coming here if you want to get some of this coffee.
That's cool. I wonder if they do like custom roasting for you. You can choose which type of bean you want, and then like what type of roasting process, I guess. And then from there, you can get whatever coffee you want roasted by them. Cat poo coffee? I don't think they have the cat poo coffee here. <laughs> Yo, that girl was helping me out and then she just like got distracted and ran away. She was like explaining all the things to me. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want some coffee but it's a little late for me. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Okay... And I think there was supposed to be an art museum down here somewhere, but I, I didn't see it last time when I shot the video. But I thought I saw it on the map when I went back home. I'm gonna try to look for that now. Whoa, everything's yellow. The kitchen. Looks fancy. Oh, and there's a pink one. The shop. I guess it's the same. Azabudai Hills gallery space on occasion from the exhibit. Olafur Eliezon. I don't know who that is. Probably some really crazy artist. I think the Team Labs isn't open yet, but I think there was this other art museum over here. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, this is manga art heritage. I didn't realize they hand carved these metal pieces to stamp all the manga when they print it. That's pretty insane. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at his fat belly.
Yo, you can buy these. What? Thou shalt eat to live, not live to eat. Maybe three thousand dollars for one of the paintings. Oh, what's this? Whoa. I have like a weird feeling looking at this. It's kind of trippy. Makes me a little dizzy almost. Cool. This one's also like 3,000, holy crap. All right, dead end. Let's go back, I guess. Basement, but I think we've been on floor basement one and then maybe floor one But then there's also like floor two. I think I gotta check I don't know why it's like only 545, but it feels like it's 8 o'clock. It feels so late for some reason. I don't know why Let's go upstairs. Actually, I think there were some more restaurants down here that we missed. Yeah, I think this area down here, there's some more restaurants. Oh cool, this place has like an open kitchen. Whoa. That's cool. Let's see, tonkatsu on the right here. And left side is soup curry. There's a Thai food place. And what is this? Taco. Ooh, it's like tempura, fancy tempura place. Bulls on Parade. What is that? It's like a ramen shop. Interesting.
Hmm, a little lost here. Oh, here, we ended up in the front now. We're back in the front. Yeah, so that was the Hall C. But I think there's, like, still B that we've never been in. And I don't know about A. Looks like a fancy, fancy bakery, maybe. Hmm. All right, let's go in here. again somehow butter and baked goods oh cool What else is in here? Kakimoto arms. What does that mean? What is arms? It's like uh, plants and skincare? That's like a weird combo. <laughs> This is Inner Beauty, Este Pro Labo. I don't know what that means. It's like a health food shop. It's hard to tell. <laughs> We somehow ended up on floor two. I thought we were in the basement. And this is like a fancy cream pastry restaurant or something like that. I, I don't even know what that is. It's a hisaya roll, whatever that is. I don't know what hisaya roll is. More fancy skincare. And like an incense store. Make your house smell good. All right, let's go back to floor one. I feel like we missed stuff maybe. Wait, we were here before. This is where they had harbs and stuff. Alright, so we've seen this before. I think that's almost everything. If that's the case, then... There is still the, um... That, like... 
uh, rooftop greenway area we haven't been to. We should go check out the rooftop greenway thing. I think we gotta go back this way. Yeah, like back to the front area and then we can like climb the stairs up to that greenway thing. <laughs> Yeah, the weather was really nice and warm this past week, but today it suddenly got cold again. Oh, Azabudai Hills Garden Plaza residence. I didn't know people lived in this one too. Oh, look at this. Look at the sky. It's orange because the clouds. Creepy. Do I have my bike? No, I don't have my bike today. It's too cold for me. <laughs> Anything like 10 degrees and below, I'm already freezing. I don't know if we're gonna do bike for the rest of winter. You can live there with $5,000 per month. Yeah, right. No way I would ever pay that. <laughs> okay, let's go on the rooftop thing. And then... I think that will have been everything. I'm debating of whether to shoot a 4K video here or not. After the stream. I think it could be interesting, but it's kind of up in the air. Could be, could not be. I'm not really sure, but I'll try. See how it turns out. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Whoa, look, it's Tokyo Tower right there. Cool. It's not really a garden, it's just like a rooftop staircase. I'm guessing this would probably look cooler at night and in the daytime. <laughs> Let's see, I wonder if this is going to be a new Instagram spot. I saw a lot of people here the other day taking pictures. Posing right here on the stairwell in front of the, the tower. Elevated mini park. Yeah, this is a uh, If you guys watched the video, this is where I got trapped in a dead end <laughs> It's like confusing this like hallway just goes to nowhere But I think these are all supposed to be shops that are gonna open in the future But right now they're just closed because it's still early This is like some kind of specialty chocolate store I think bean to bar chocolate yeah some kind of like crazy expensive chocolate and this is just like a restaurant but I think it's too cold for people to come and eat here right now Yeah, it feels so late, but it's only 6 p.m. Mm. 
Alright. Let's go down here. Actually, let's go back. Let's take this back street because I've never actually seen what's back here. That's like the dead end there on the left hand side. But this is like the back street right behind the Azabu Dai Hills. And I think this is the tower that was existing before, like the original Mori Tower, uh, in this area at least. And then that's the new Residence A, and then this is the Mori JP Tower, and then this will see the Residence B behind this tower in the future. I wonder how long it's going to take them to make that though. Probably a pretty long time. Creepy dark alleyway. Yeah, I think I rode my bike through here on a stream once. This is when that's when they had all the construction still. And then I think if you turn right here, that Modi Tower is just like a really expensive building, so there was all these fancy cars out there. But I wonder if all those rich people are selling their condos and moving into the new new <laughs> on this side they don't want to be in that old old anymore <laughs> it's beneath them damn this looks so nice okay which way should we go yeah, these are all the existing residents, and I think that's like a an older residence over here. Why don't you have something to drink? I should. I have some water in my pocket, actually. I don't really want to buy anything around here. It's so expensive. <laughs> Alright, let me drink my water. Ah. Let's see, so we've already been down that way in the beginning of the stream and multiple times. So let's try to continue down this hill. I haven't been up this way before. You can have an apartment here for 750,000 yen a month. Jesus. I can't imagine what kind of job you have to have to justify it and be like, yeah, I can afford that much. That's just crazy to me. Out. I'm a little lost once we get past here. Finance investor? I guess so, huh? Let's see. I haven't really been up this way before. Let's kind of explore what's in here. Seems fancy. Look, there's a weird sign. No humans. 
What does that mean? Looks like this path goes all the way up, maybe? I don't know how far this goes. Let me see if I can change the exposure real quick. <laughs> Only AI allowed. Only aliens. No stick men. <laughs> Whoa, what is this place? I've never been back here before. I think it's like an office building maybe. But yeah, I've never come down this way before. The Ropongi First Building. Interesting. Try to go down this way. Oh, look, there's some illuminations here. That's cool. Just like some little minor ones. That's nice. Sengokuyama Mori Tower. I guess that's the name of this original one. That's neat. All right. I don't know what else is around here, honestly. I see a bunch of lights in the here, so let's go check out this last place. And then uh, I'll probably head back down to the main area and Maybe wrap it up, film a 4K video at night. Six PM is real dark. Yep, you're telling me. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Alright, what is up what else is over here? This is the Shops and Restaurants of Shiroyama Garden. Interesting. Oh, cool. Izumi Garden. There's more illuminations here. That's nice. Ugh. All right, let's go see these and then we'll head back down to the main green space oh they even have music very nice I don't know if I've ever been back here before this is a cool little chill illumination spot. They even have the Japanese maple tree here. That's really nice. It's like my own private illumination. <laughs> this is pretty sweet.
where are we? This is like a long escalator down. I don't know where that goes. All right, let's just go check it out anyway. <laughs> I don't know where this goes. Need to do a 4K video here? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty glad we found this place. It's pretty nice. It looks like it's a terrace of illuminations. I don't know if I've been here before. Where are we? Oh, hold on a second. Is this Ark Hills? This could be Ark Hills. I just didn't recognize it, maybe? That's cool. I've got a Christmas tree in here. That's nice. Whoa, what is that big jewel thing down there? See that in the window down there? Alright, let's go check that out. I think I'm stuck. How do I get down? <coughs> Let's see. Stairs? Oh yeah, there's stairs here. This place is fancy. Oh, and there's like a random gym right here. Weird. That's cool. Treadmill running and watching the illuminations. That's nice. Need to learn parkour. Well, I could have just taken this long ass escalator. I think it goes all the way to the top. Sick. Oh yeah, we're at Ark Hills. That is where we are. Oh cool, look at this jewel thing. Wait, can I see it from the other side? Yeah. Why did the music get, suddenly get all epic and then all the lights turned off? Whoa! <laughs> I guess they have some kind of light show. That's cool. It's like a log tree. Never seen that before. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go look at this jewel wreath thing. All right, that's cool. How do we get back now? <laughs> How do I get back to where I was? I kind of want to try to ride this super long escalator over here. I think the one on the left was just like a bunch of small ones. Oh, see you, Cheryl.
thought this was an office. Yeah, this is uh, Ark Hills. I think Google used to be in here. Oh, they have a nice big tree. That's cool. Well, I need it to be inside to go up the escalator. How do I get in there? So, neat. Have I been to Toronamon Hill Station? Uh, yeah I have. Do they have an illumination thing there? It might be nice to couple in. Let me check my map. How far is Toronamo? I mean, it's not exactly close, but it's not far either. But probably not gonna go there today. more illuminations over here. That's cool. Where are we? I don't even understand how to get out of here. <laughs> this place is just a straight up maze. I think we're in that back garden again. But yeah, I think Toradamo is that way, near that other Mori sign. I think they're building another tall building over there too. At least that's what it looks like. Maybe I will just take the night video around the outside of the the building. I don't know if it's going to be interesting to go in there with the big camera. Maybe just up to the sky lounge with the big camera. That could be fun. Get some nice good night shots. That'd be pretty sweet.
see. I think that's the residence A over there. So I just gotta head back in that direction, I guess. But yeah, this area is pretty massive. I really thought before I came here the first time on Friday that it was just gonna be a lot smaller than they said. And then I could get maybe like a 20 minute walk around, but yeah, it's definitely like an hour and a half type of thing, two hours maybe. But, uh, okay, let's go back. And then, yeah, I'll probably get set up and uh, do a 4K video after that. Yeah, some of these office buildings look a little old. I'm assuming they have to get rebuilt eventually. I heard someone say that they're, someone's going to be redeveloping Ropongi Gochome. I wonder, where is that? Gochome? Is that more north of the main Ropongi area, kind of by like Midtown? Or is that south, closer to this area? It would be crazy if Ropongi and this Ark Hills area were just connected by this huge, crazy uh, complex. Because <laughs> it's kind of a gap in the middle. But it would be neat if they were connected more. Ever made videos of Marunochi? Yeah, I did. I already made one for this year, but for some reason the HDR processing isn't working. I contacted the support and they said it should be done like in a day or two, but that was two or three days ago now. So I probably got to contact them again. And uh, oh, that's a nice view. I should get a picture with the, uh, the Pixel phone. All right, hold on a second here, guys. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, see you, Lilith. Yeah, I'll probably do the 4K video and then post it later on this week. Dog groomer. It's a big dog in there. Big furry dog. Yeah, this is the residence B. I guess they're just getting started on the bottom part of the tower. So I should have enough time to save enough money for one of those, right? I'm just shy about uh like five or ten million. <laughs> you guys have five or ten million to let me borrow? I'll pay you back when I'm dead. I promise. <laughs> Please go to Toronamon Hills Station. It's very beautiful. Okay, yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll try to catch that one in this 4K video. Because it's like, not so far, but I really want to get started on recording. It's already 6.30.
Yeah, this is that backside. See, they still haven't turned on those illumination strands. I wonder when they're going to do that. Here's the alien spaceship with its light strand tentacles coming off. <laughs> oh, they close the grass off in the night time. Interesting. It's a nice picture here with uh, a Zabadai Hill sign and then the tower in the back. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to leave you here. And I'm going to get started on recording a 4K video right now. But thank you guys for joining me today on this live tour of the new Azabudai Hills. If you want to see it in more detail in 4K, I have the video of the recorded version linked in the chat at the top. It's pinned. Um, but yeah, please look forward to the nighttime version of that video. I don't know how much of the inside of the stores I'm going to record during that video. This will be more like the outside area. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging out today. This was a shorter stream for once. It was actually shorter, but uh, hopefully you guys have a good week. Please look forward to more illuminations. I have an autumn illumination coming out tomorrow morning, and then there'll probably, probably a break until later on this week when I've recorded more of the illumination. So thank you guys again, and uh, please check out our merch store. Uh, links in below. There's the uh, they're like Halloween theme, but I kind of like them still. They're like autumn themed, like a ninja mummy or undead samurai or like a vampire geisha. So please check us out if you have some time, and please join our Discord. The links are also in the description. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good relaxing week, and had a good Thanksgiving for those of you in the states. And I will see you guys next week. All right, thank you guys. I'll talk to you later.
Can't get this off my mind 